The body economy, surrogacy in the marketplace. Being a parent is hard work, a lifelong project full of interesting challenges. <coughs> Pregnancy and delivery are also hard work. We call it labor for a reason, right? What if a pregnant woman is delivering a baby for someone else? It's a huge responsibility and an amazing gift. Should she be paid for her services? Reimbursed for her expenses? Or both? I'm Francoise Bayless. I'm a bioethicist at Dalhousie University. This year, the Government of Canada is drafting new regulations to strengthen the 14-year-old Assisted Human Reproduction Act, and surrogacy is on the agenda. Currently, Canada prohibits payment for surrogacy. Instead, the law allows women to be reimbursed for pregnancy-related expenses. But some, including private fertility clinics, lawyers and brokers, want Canada to go further and adopt a fee-for-service model. If women are autonomous beings, shouldn't they have the right to charge for providing such a valuable service? In an ideal world, every surrogate would feel 100% empowered and equal to all the people she'll deal with. She would not feel coerced or exploited. But in the real world, we know consent and autonomous decision-making can be compromised when money is on the table. That's why we don't allow people to sell their organs for transplantation. Our goal should be to strengthen the current legal framework that permits reimbursement of expenses and allows a woman to give the ultimate gift of life without cost to herself and without potential compromise to her autonomy. Learn more at impactethics.ca and join the conversation on Twitter at hashtag TheBodyEconomy.